Hello Memorial Eagles, happy Friday. It's Mrs. Pollard and I'm here with a new story for you guys today. It's called Don't Worry Douglas by David Melling. Douglas and his dad were playing. What have you got behind your back? Asked Douglas. Nothing, said dad. Not that hand, the other one. Dad smiled. Close your eyes. Wow, said Douglas. Thanks, Dad. Douglas had never had a woolly hat before. He couldn't wait to show his friends. Take care of it, said Dad. But Douglas was already off. There he goes. <clears throat> Look at me, Douglas cried. Snazzy hat. Douglas, bawled the sheep. I can even do cartwheels in it, he whooped. And he did, again and again, until something didn't feel right. What is happening to Douglas's hat? Douglas gasped. His new woolly hat had turned into one long string of spaghetti. said. Don't worry, Douglas, said the sheep. We'll fix it. They wound it into a ball and squished it back into shape. Any better? They asked. No, said Douglas. Cow is a good thinker, said the sheep. She'll know what to do. Look at how they made up his hat. That does not look like a hat at all. Cow thought she had a very good idea. Pretty, she said. No, said Douglas. Good cow. She looks like she has a wig on. Don't worry, Douglas, chirped a swoopy bird. I can use this for my nest. No, you can't, yelped Douglas. That's my new woolly hat. Doesn't look like a woolly hat, said the swoopy bird. Anyway, she puffed. It doesn't fit, and she dropped it. Just then it began to rain, and everyone hurried for cover, except Douglas. What's my dad going to say, he worried. Rabbit popped up. to plug the hole in my burrow. That's my new woolly hat, cried Douglas. Dad gave it to me. Sorry, said Rabbit. I didn't know. Come here, she said, and wiped his nose. What am I going to do, sniffed Douglas. Rabbit looked thoughtful. Why don't you just tell him what happened? He's nice, your dad. He'll understand. Maybe Rabbit was right. Douglas picked up his wet spaghetti hat and trudged back. said his mom. Look at you. Where's your new hat? Asked his dad. Douglas told them everything. Don't worry, Douglas, said dad. I've got something for you. Guess which hand? Douglas wasn't sure. Here's my hat, said Dad, laughing. You'll soon grow into it. Look at all the sheep and all their funny different hats. So this book taught us that 
it's sometimes best to just tell the truth because people have a tendency to be very understanding. And think about that, especially this weekend because it's Mother's Day. So know that your moms are always there for you or your aunts or your grandmas or a close family friend. People are always there for you and always are going to support you no matter what, especially your teachers too. 